Right, our motor will consist of a cell, a magnet, that's a piece of anisotropic magnet, mm -hmm. two paper clips that have been bent out of shape, and those will be our two connectors, and it's quite useful having the magnet here because it holds them in place mm. and then a coil and I want to show you this coil it's just a mm. little coil of copper wire just mm. one or oh, what about six or seven turns mm. okay now there is one trick in making this motor and I want you to work out for yourself why this happens mm. On the one side, on this piece that extends out the side, and this is going to be part of the, uh, uh, the support of this coil, on this side, we have scraped away one half of this reddish, uh, shiny, resiny insulation that mm. copper wire like this is covered with. We've mm. scraped away one half of it. Whereas on the other side, We've mm. scraped it away all together. Mm. Okay. Now that will go onto the stirrup and look. Just needed a slight. We lift just just gave it a little bit of persuasion and there we go, whizzing around at a rate of knots. Mm. That is the principle of the electric motor. Now, I don't think that we should spend too much time Done. explaining to the good people out there. Mm. They need to go away and explain it themselves. Yeah. There we go. Still going like a whirling dervish. Okay, isn't that wonderful? Lovely. Just remember Lovely. Lovely. the one support you scrape the insulation away completely. Mm. On the other side, you only scrape away one half mm. of the insulation, and that's, say, the bottom half mm. you would scrape away. And there it's going. Now, clearly what is happening, and we'll tell you this much, mm. is a current. There's the cell. So there must be a current mm. going that way. This way, through the coil, out there, Mm. And of course, the current in the coil gives you a what that is going to interact with the magnetic. The magnet. Yeah, and there is the magnetic field interacting with the magnet. Yeah. Um, and and you, you, go and, you go and work it out. Okay. The good thing about this magnet, of course, this anisotropic, uh, anisotropic magnet, mm. is that it has its poles are not end to end. The mm. poles are on this side a north and on that side a south or the other way around mm. so the polarity is through that piece of uh, piece of material okay